Hey everyone, welcome into the K0LWC Ham Shack today. We're having another controversial discussion today. This time, it's gonna be why DMR is way better than analog. Before we get into that, do me a big favor. If you want more great ham radio videos, go ahead and smash the subscribe button below the video. And also while you're down there, go ahead and give this video a big like on the thumbs up. It helps me out a ton. All right, so why is DMR better than analog FM? Well, there are a lot of reasons. Why? Let's start with number one. You can actually have two different channels on one single repeater frequency. For those folks familiar with DMR, we know these as time slots. Most repeaters have time slot one and time slot two. The reason is a digital repeater that functions with DMR actually uses half the bandwidth of a normal traditional analog repeater. The bandwidth on an analog repeater is typically 25 kilohertz, while a DMR repeater can carry voice on a single channel of just 12 and a half kilohertz. So if you half that, you could have two different time slots, which allows for two simultaneous conversations on one single repeater frequency. Let's go on to reason number two. In addition to just carrying voice, uh, DMR can carry other information along with that transmission. Things like data, text messaging, APRS location. It can be just more than your singular voice transmission. So it's more robust and more dynamic in terms of what can be transmitted in that signal. Simple enough. Going on to number three, the conversion of your voice into a digital transmission will actually reduce background noise significantly. So basically, in the radio, when it's putting together the actual digital transmission, it can distinguish between what is your voice and what you're trying to say, and then what is just kind of ambient background noise away from the microphone, and it will kind of strip that background noise away. Now, does it mean that your transmissions are completely devoid of background noise? No, of course not. However, it is much vastly improved compared to analog. Want to cut down on the noise? Go digital. Number four, digital voice actually sounds much better than analog. Now, some hams would say, I don't agree with that. It does take some getting used to, but once your ear kind of gets attuned to what a digital voice transmission sounds like, it does have an improvement in terms of clarity and intelligibleness over an analog signal especially in that noisy environment. How about increasing your radio's battery life for number five? Now, if you're using your radio for analog uh, compared to DMR, it's gonna burn battery at a much faster rate. Using DMR can improve your battery life in your radio by as much as 40%. That's right, 40% longer by using DMR. Now, if you have a hotspot at your house and in your ham shack, like I do, you can run your DMR radio on low power and hardly ever use any battery. Now, I use a plethora of digital radios you see here in the background, most notably the Anytone 878. When using that radio on low power with a hotspot here in the shack, I can go with that radio for three to four days on low power and pretty steady use as well before I need to recharge. Now that is cool. How about for number six, something called automatic roaming. That's right. If you want the radio to actually select which repeater you should be on based on signal quality, it'll do that roaming automatically and find the best repeater, not relying on you to do so or someone on the repeater to tell you that you're getting a little noisy and maybe you wanna to switch to another machine. So automatic roaming, two thumbs up. And perhaps the most important I buried for the very end, number seven, improved signal range. Digital functions much, much better on the fringes when compared to analog. If you're used to analog, you know when you're on the fringe of a repeater or on the fringe of a distance on a simplex contact, things get noisy. They slowly fade away and get noisier and noisier and noisier until you can't make contact with that person or repeater anymore. Digital's not like that. Digital will allow you to make that conversation right to the very fringe and then literally you take another few steps and it completely drops away. But even if you're just a hair off that fringe, it will sound the same as if you were standing typically right next to the repeater. Again, digital voice is either there or it's not. There's not hash and fuzz and noise on your signal like analog. Typically, you will see better overall range with a digital system. So let's say your analog repeater covers about I don't, 40 miles. You may see 
actual intelligible coverage for say 45 miles, 50 mile radius on a digital system. Hmm, repeaters that operate better at longer range or I can make simplex contacts in a longer distance. Uh, yeah, I'm for that. So there you have it. There are seven reasons and only seven, believe me, there's more of why DMR is way better than analog uh, for your ham radio hobby. I think that DMR and all the other digital modes will continue to grow over the next 10 years. And I hope we continue to see their use increase. Now, I know a lot of you out there don't wanna deal with learning something new or learning how to do a code plug on a computer. Um, I hope you get over that. Just get over that hump. And if you can't, build a bridge and get over it. Uh, digital is just better than analog. Uh, for so, so, so many reasons. Um, I really think it's a fun facet of the hobby and encourage you to check it out. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Am I right? Am I wrong? Am I crazy? Um, you let me know what you think down in the comments. Thanks again for watching. Don't forget if you haven't, subscribe. Give me a thumbs up on the video. It really helps my channel out a ton and I'll catch you again next time.